Hi, what's going on? My name is Anant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch an email marketing campaign inside sendmails.io. For that, head over to your campaign tabs over here and then you need to create a new campaign. But you can see we've already created a bunch of campaigns in past and we'll be able to track the statistics from here. But as of now, I'm just going to create a new campaign from scratch. And here I'm getting an option to choose from the regular HTML template or a completely plain HTML, which is over here. So I'm going to choose the one which is here, which is the regular campaign. Then here I need to choose the list. So make sure to create your list to whom you're going to be targeting. If you don't know much about the list, then I'll put the link inside the description that how do you create a list and import contact inside sendways.io audience. But as of now, we're going to choose one of the generic audience list that we have already created and inside that list we have an option to choose a specific segment if you don't know what is a segment then make sure to check out the video in the description below but basically a segment is the set of condition that you create on top of a list so that you can have different segments based on different conditions that you have created for example in the same list if you want to have a segment of females and then the segment of males then you can choose that as well over here so I'm, I'm not going to go in depth of segment but if you want to learn more about segment make sure to check out the video in the description below so i'm going to choose the first segment which have around three subscribers and i'm going to click on save and next now here you need to name your campaign i'm going to name it as test email campaign and here you can put the subject line or if you want to personalize the subject line then you can use the macro tags over here but as of now i'm just going to keep it as hey there the from name is going to be anand gupta and the from email is going to be the one which we've already verified now if you want to use the sending servers default value then instead of putting the from email we can just use the sending servers default value you want to do it when you have multiple sending servers connected and for different sending servers, you might have different email accounts. So in that case, you do not want to use the same email account, right? So in that case, you just choose the sending servers default value because here you might have different sending servers connected, which are going to be sending these emails. So I'm going to choose use sending servers default value and the reply to email is going to be anand at the rate sendways.io where I want to receive all the incoming emails. Now I want to track the emails, hence I have enabled tracked open, track click. I've added the DKIM signature for the best deliverability. And I've also added a custom tracking domain to improve my deliverability. If you want to learn about how to add the custom tracking domain, make sure to check out the description below. Now click on save and next. And this is where you can either upload a template, which we've already discussed in one of the previous video. You can follow along with the playlist, make sure to check out in the description. But as of now, we're going to create a new template from scratch. So here we've already created one of our theme. So we can choose the theme that we have created ourselves by going to our my template section over here. So if I go to buy my template section, this is the template that we have created ourselves. And if I click on email builder pro, I'll be getting a drag and drop email builder to design my email. So as you can see, this is the one which we have already created. Now I want to personalize my email by adding first name as a tag. So I can find this first name tag over here. Hi, and I want to use the first name tag. So I will be pasting the tag over here. And if I want to add more tags like age, gender, industry, country, then I can do that as well. But as of now, I'm just going to keep this over here and click on save and close. If you want to make any customization inside the template using drag and drop builder, make sure to check out one of the video where I've talked in depth about how to customize any template using the drag and drop builder. But here we have chosen the template and now we are going to click on next. Now, if you want to schedule the campaign at a very specific date, you can do that as well by choosing the date and time, but we want to send the emails immediately. So here I'm going to be clicking on send now and you're good to go. Now, as you can see over here, we have everything ready over here. 
Now, if you want to make changes on anything over here, we can do that. If you want to add a web hook to send notification to the third party application, then you can do that as well. Uh, if you want to send a test email to yourself just to see everything is working perfectly fine or not, then you can put your email, just check the email template if it is working for you or not. And then you can start sending emails to everyone. So that's it for today. That's how you launch an email campaign. In the next video, I will show you how to track the campaign's performance. So if you have any question regarding launching your campaign, drop it down in the comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.